On the 28th of March coming, 61 years ago, I made a promise in the old Presbyterian church in sickness and health. And I said, now's the time to honour it. Simple as that. How advanced is Pammy now? Does she know who you are? Oh, hell no. I hadn't known who I am for years. Who's that? I don't really know. Really? It was somebody when I was here, first here. And um, he came and he did everything he could for me. And then one night he came and said he was, he was going. Sometimes I'm a father, sometimes I'm a brother. And I'll go to her and say, I'm your husband, Warwick. That's you and your husband? Yes, when we were younger. When we went to school, you know, we were 13 year old. All the boys were dead keen on the girls that were fully developed. The girls were flat chested, never had a look in. So that was the number one attraction. And that, to be quite honest with Pam, was the number one attraction. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being completely honest. Uh, but, you know, of course, then it grew from there. Chasing me. Does they just? Oh, you don't run too fast these days, though. <laughs> <laughs> this is the woman that you've spent over 60 years with. Whatever I wanted to do in life, she always backed me. When we started on the farm, I couldn't have done it without her. She had three little kids under five. She was in the yards chasing sheep through, which I couldn't do without her. I'd be crutching all day. She'd be sorting the wool, filling the pens for me. And you know, and then we'd go home at night and she'd cook a meal. Uh, you don't forget that. I'm getting emotional. Okay, you brush your hair. That's a girl. That's a good old brush around the back here. Oh yeah, it's such a gorgeous love story. Like, she started doing everything for him in the early years of life and now it's switched over, so now he's doing everything he can for her. Gee, it's getting a bit knotty in places. Wait a minute. Don't you pull it. Okay, I'll try not to. It's simple. Simple, you know, it's... I, I have no problem whatsoever. But, uh, you know, it's, uh, of course, the, the, probably the major thing is, is whether my health holds up. Uh, such is life. You never know what's around the corner. Me? Really? You're around the corner? Yeah, I think you might be right too. Look at that fat cat there, sitting beside you. He's always with you, isn't it? I've told our three kids Just think, give me a minute. That if my health cracks up and it's terminal, I'm going to leave this world with her. Because I don't see any point. As far as I'm concerned, life is only worth having while it's worth living. When people get diagnosed with dementia, they can create some fear because they know what it will ultimately lead to. We have got to build a sort of an envelope of love around them because then they will travel that journey with dignity and they'll be treated with dignity. It's the most important thing in the world is to make sure you support the person with the challenge in a way that gives them full value of their life every day. Hey, uh, can you grab the spoon for me there? No, you get it yourself. No, 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 come on, you always do it. That's a girl. Just pick it up, pick the spoon up and that's it. Grab it now. No, no, pick it up over here. That's him. Good girl, well done. You help mum, will you? Hey, and I'll go and do the dishes. What's that, what do you reckon? 
Betsy, she's still got such a lovely personality. And you can have conversations with her, like it may not make sense, but just chatting with her is so lovely. <laughs> Hello, we've been together there. Oh, since the age of 16, so that's uh, 61, 5, uh, about 66 years, I suppose. Uh -huh. Yeah, we still look after it. Yeah, you do, don't you? Yeah, long time. Mm -hmm. It is a big ask, and that's why you need outside help. You've actually got to look after the carers almost as much as you've got to look after the person. I never thought I'd end my days as a house husband and a nurse aide. You never know what's around the corner in life, do you? The only time I get a bit frustrated is with the sundowning business. Nobody can tell you why it happens. From what I can gather, it doesn't happen to all with Alzheimer's. <laughs> You're getting naughty, I think. <laughs> She's like a, a person possessed. The street light here will light all this area. And uh, on the worst nights, you'll come out here, she'll spend two or three hours wandering around here, picking up things, putting them somewhere else. God, I can't find anything because there's stuff in here. And she's talking away to herself and talking to the furniture and, and uh, reprimanding it because it doesn't talk back. And I'm out the back watching TV and when the, each time when the jolly ads come up, I sneak up just to see if she's okay or what's going on. I did a silly thing. I put some jolly dishes in the sink and I came out here and the kitchen's awash with about two inches of water on. And she turned the tap on and that's another thing. She'll go around turning taps on and doesn't turn them off. So you've got to be checking all the time. Yeah, so, yeah, it has its trials and tribulations, but we just box on. Here we are, Pummy. Another one. Good girl. Pam's mum ended up in a home. She got the same thing, but she was 82. She was Pummy's age now when she first got it. And go in there and there'll be half a dozen dear old dears just sitting there, you know, with bibs on and dribble and vacant look and you think, God oh, almighty, if this was an animal, the SPCA would have you, have you up in court. Honestly, I think probably here is the best place for her. I think it would be even more distressing for her if she weren't here. Good girl, well done. I'm very proud of you, there you are. I'd be lost without her, even though she's just a, a shadow of what she was. And uh, no way do I want to be here on my own. Do you love work? Yes, still do. What do you love about him? He's always here. If I want anything or get into trouble, not, not trouble, but just getting out of trouble, and he'll be there waiting for me to take me home. I love Pummy now as much as I ever did. I mean, she's in, a, in her time of need. And uh, so therefore, I've got to measure up and, and take care of that need. Basically, I live to look after her. Amazing. Oh no, I'm just an old broken down old cocky, that's all I am. <laughs> <laughs> come on, love, well, come in here and sit on your chair. You set? All set? All good? Okay. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.